In this video, we're going to look at division, and we're going to look at the short division method. So let's start off by doing 175 divided by 5. So you write 175, the number you're dividing, then a line which goes up and across like so. Some people call it a bus shelter. And the number you're dividing by goes in front of it like so. So we've got 175 divided by 5. So how many 5s go into 1? Well, no 5s go into 1, so 0. And the 1 is the remainder. So you put the 1 in front of the 7 like so to make 17. Then you say, how many 5s go into 17? If you're not sure, you can list down the multiples of 5. So the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. So how many 5s go into 17? Well, 5, 10, 15. 3 is 15. And the remainder then would be 2 because 17 take away the 15 is 2. And then the remainder goes across in front of the 5 like so. Now we're going to do 25 divided by 5. Well, 25 divided by 5 is 5. So the answer would be 35. Again, if you needed to carry on the 5 times tables, you can. So the answer is 35. And that's how you use short division to do a division like that one. Let's have a look at another question. Let's now do 915 divided by 3. So again, the number you're dividing, 915, the line up and across, and divided by 3. So, how many 3's go into 9? Well, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then, how many 3's go into 1? Well, no 3's go into 1, so you put a 0, and then the remainder would be 1. And how many 3's go into 15? Well, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the answer would be 305. Okay, let's have a look at another one. This time we're going to do 187 divided by 11. So 187 up and across and divided by 11. How many 11s go into 1? Well, no 11s go into 1. And the remainder is 1. How many 11s go into 18? Well, if you want to, you can write the multiples of 11. So 11. 11 plus 11 is 22. Plus 11 is 33. Plus 11, 44. 55, 66, 77, 88, and so on. You can carry that on. So how many 11s go into 18? Well, one 11 goes into 18. And the remainder would be 7, because 18 take away 11 is 7. And then finally, how many 11s go into 77? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 17. And let's do one last example. So let's do 208. So 208 divided by 13. And because 13, it's not one of the ones you normally le uh, learn in school off by heart, so let's write down the 13 times table. So 13. 13 plus 13, well that would be 26. Plus 13, well 3 is 29, so that would be 39. Plus 13, add 3 is 42, add the 10, 52. Add 13, add 3 would be 55, add 10, 65. Add uh, 13, so add 3 would be 68, so then that would be 78. Add 3 is 81, and then the 1091, and so on. So let's just hope that's enough. If it needs to be, we can carry on later. So, how many 13s go into 2? Well, no 13s go into 2. Remainder 2. How many 13s go into 20? Well, 1 13 goes into 20. And the remainder would be, well, 20 take away 13 is equal to 7, so remainder 7. And how many 13s go into 78? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer to that is equal to 16. And that's it. So that's how to do the short division method. Um, if you want to see what happens if there's remainders, go on to corporatemaths.com and look at division with remainders. And you can see what happens if there's a remainder at the end. So in other words, how to put the decimal point and the zeros to change to get your answer as a decimal number. Okay, and that's it.